Welcome to Frog Foot Hider, y'all. I'm Michael, my nephew Colton's behind the camera. And well, I'm out here with my squash today. See, my squash have nice big old leaves, as you can see, but there's a problem with them. See, there's too many leaves on my squash. And squash, believe it or not, is one of the plants that does better if you do prune it. And I'm gonna be pruning my squash today. Now see, y'all take a look at this right here. Y'all see this wall of leaves? Hardly see anything, right? But what happens when you move a couple of leaves? Look at all that squash in there, guys. Now see, what is happening is these leaves are covering up my flowers that are on my squash. So I'm gonna be going in and pruning the leaves out and show you how I do it. Now see, my rule of thumb is look for the ugly leaves first. Yes, I said ugly leaves. What I mean by ugly, any diseased leaves, any leaves that have major holes in them, just leaves that aren't really doing any good anymore. So for example, this one right here. You see all the holes in it and everything? That's an ugly leaf. This one right here, that's an ugly leaf. And I'm gonna come in here and about four inches above the stalk right there, I'm gonna cut it, just like that. Now, I'm gonna collect these leaves. Uh-oh, I have something right there that was going to do a cocoon. But I'm gonna collect these leaves and throw them out of my garden because I don't want these squash leaves to disease anything else. Now, you got leaves like this. You definitely don't want this in your garden. So I do not ain't gonna mulch anything like that up. But I removed three leaves, guys, and look how much it's already opened it up. Now something else, you see this leaf crossing over into my other squash plant? I'm gonna take and cut him. So that way it opens up that plant too. So we're gonna be cutting a few more out of here. Now don't worry, this is not hurting your plant at all. In fact, it will promote growth in the plant. Because remember, squash plant is a vining plant. Now, you can end up having too many leaves that will cause, when the wind blows, cause the plant to flip and break your stalk. So that's actually a good thing to do this. Let's see, I'm gonna do one right here. And that's opened up pretty good. So guys, you see how much that's opened up that plant? Now see the bees will be able to find the flowers and get in there and the wind won't be able to catch this plant as much. Now there's also a reason why I left so much stem when I cut the leaf off. And it's because as the squash grows, it's gonna need stability. So those stems eventually will hit the ground most likely and keep it from doing this y'all. So I'm gonna hit super frog mode and me and my nephew are gonna be cleaning out, I guess would be a phrase, or pruning the squash here. We got a little bit to do. All right, guys, super frog mode time. Yeah. And we are back from super frog mode, y'all. And we got an entire wheelbarrow load of leaves. Now, as you can see, that has opened up my squash plants quite a bit. So the bees will be able to find them a lot easier. And well, the bad bugs won't have so many leaves to lay their eggs on. Be easier to check them. But guys, I tell you, it's squash picking time again. Yeah, it's time for me to get to picking squash, y'all. So I'm gonna, Hit this real quick in super frog mode, 
and see what kind of squash basket I end up with. Go, go, go froggy, go, go, go froggy, go, go, go froggy. Oh yeah, we're back from super frog mode, y'all. Yeah, I was doing my little froggy dance. Yeah, I'm happy, guys. Look at all this squash. Yeah, buddy. I tell you what, it is so much easier to pick the squash with all these leaves gone. And I tell you, those bees are really gonna love being able to get to those flowers a lot easier, guys. But I wanted to show you something. Yeah, I got me a twin squash, y'all. Eat two squash in one. Yeah, this one's a little small, but at the same time, it's gonna eat just as good. But this is what happens when you have a double pollinated flower. And well, it's good either way. But guys, I tell you, I love me some squash. Man, I've been eating squash almost every day. And this is not a bad haul for picking the squash just a few days ago. And I tell you, let me, let me tell you something, y'all. I'm gonna go into Shed Wars mode. Yeah, I've activated Shed Wars mode, y'all. And I tell you, team, it won't grow. You ought to be scared. Yeah, so I just picked my squash a few days ago. And you know that little penalty that your leader, Jellyfish John, or as I call him now, Bubblegum John, gave me the other day? Yeah. This more than makes up for that five pound penalty. That unrighteous, unjust five pound penalty penalty and let me talk about that for a minute see team will it not grow i think because i only got a few videos out there that i either hurt john's feelings or he's that scared of me yeah yeah john i'm talking to you what is it are you scared of me or did i hurt your feelings yeah maybe you ought to go cuddle up to the, your doggy sushi yeah that was so cute by the way and we are back to regular frog mode, y'all. Yeah, sorry I had to go to Shed Wars mode. Yeah, see, John has um, penalized me that five pounds without telling me why. So, hey, it was easy enough to make up. But either way, guys, I appreciate y'all joining in today. I hope you've learned something. And, well, if you have, it's not my fault. My channel's purely entertainment. Any learning that you do ain't my fault. It's yours. I guess. That's been Michael with Frog Foot Holler. Y'all have a froggy day.